Close your eyes and focus on the breath. Notice what kind of breathing feels good right now, and then just stay right there. As one of the forest of John's once said, make this the one seat in the house. In other words, you're sitting down in the one chair, and there's no other seats in the house, so anybody else that comes in doesn't have a place to sit down. In other words, your thoughts of the past, the future, they come wandering in, but you don't give them a place to settle in. You occupy the body entirely. Think of the breath as a whole body process, and you're filling the whole body with your awareness, and you're right here. Anything else that comes wandering in, well, just let it hang around for a bit. If it can't find a place to settle down, it'll go. You don't have to chase it out. You don't have to get involved with it at all. Because some of these thoughts, once you get involved, even in trying to chase them away, they pull you in. And then they pull you with them as they go. And who knows where they're going to go. So you take the one seat here in the house. Occupy the body fully so that you can be stable, you can be solid. As for the other thoughts that come in, don't identify with them. You, this is our problem. Is a thought comes in the mind, you identify with it immediately. This is my feeling. This is why I, what I think about this. This is how I feel about this. And that takes over. And all of a sudden, you don't have any place to sit down in the house. So occupy the house first. And then anything else that comes in, tell yourself, okay, this is just a later arrival doesn't have the right to settle in, doesn't have the right to throw me out, and I don't have to go getting involved. It's our attitude that whatever comes in the mind is our thought or our feeling. That's when it occupies us, and then we have no place to sit, no place to stay solid and secure. So think of the breath as your one seat, and don't let anybody throw you out of that seat.